Thursday, 20th of June. We're here in Armenia on View Top Camping. This is where we were hoping. And there's a view of the top of Mount Ararat today. Yeah, the clouds are gone in the morning. Maybe they'll come back in the day again. But uh, Sharon, the mounting in front of us is blocking the view, so we can't see all of it. <laughs> but, yeah, that's the way it is. But uh, we can see a little bit of it. So, another nice sunny day, I can see. Very warm, can't stay in the tent too long because it uh, turns into an oven in there, so we'll get outside now, have our breakfast here and we'll be on the road heading up the mountain up there. So, luckily we found a little stuff where we can buy some water. You need that because it's 9 o'clock and it's really, really warm already. Looks like Andrew was giving some fruit, and so very nice. Went to buy water and I've got a handful of fruit. Oh, nice. Oh. <laughs> well, the climbing is underway. I think the good thing is we've all got the weight divided quite nicely between us because we all seem to climb at the same speed. There's nobody that bikes much faster than anybody else, so apart from Jamie when he sees the summit and he does a bit of a sprint. But Normally we all cruise up at the same speed. We camp down there. Yesterday evening, in the valley there. So, already climbing quite nicely. That's where we started. That way yesterday afternoon. that the uh, girl from the hostel was telling us that we were living in after the earthquake here in Armenia in the 80s. Okay, this part of the hill, this is really steep well, not here but the part we've just come up. Pretty close to we have to push and that's not what you want to be doing on a touring bike loaded with bags. One thousand nine hundred meters. We just need one hundred more meters at the top. Yes, but we are very sweaty. Oh, just found a place to cool down here. Cold, cold water. Let's see what I'm Jamie doing. Over there, just she's making coffee for us. She asked us to come over and eat over there, but we want to stay here with the boys. Let's <laughs> see what happens. The lady who just bought, <laughs> thank you, just bought coffee for us. Well, there's minions are just as kind as the Turkish people. And the chocolate. <laughs> oh, wow. chocolate. Good place to stop. Free shower, cooling water and coffee. Mm -hmm. So, another nice experience here on the trip. Nice coffee. Mm -hmm. Bread we bought in Yerevan yesterday. Sit and have our lunch here today. And she goes back into her house. <laughs> Three cups of coffee. Mm -hmm. That was very good. Once more. <laughs> Fruit. <laughs> So it's not just Turkish people that are kind. It looks like people out in the world are just nice. Mm. <laughs> then the lunch break doesn't get much better. And then when that nice lady from the house just over there comes out with a nice coffee for us as well. Can't be better. Yeah. Simple yeah. things make yeah. the difference sometimes. <laughs> okay, now we're pretty close to the top. 2,000 meters high. And look where we started this morning. All the way down there. That's the town there where we bought water this morning and camped next to. That's the valley we cycled in yesterday, past Mount Ararat. Yep. So uh, this is the first of four summits. So one done, three to go. <laughs> Let's see uh, what the others are like compared to this one. 
This was, uh, wasn't too bad really, quite hot but uh, no wind and uh, yeah, went quite well really. What do you think of the view today? The view is approved. You are a view <laughs> person and who loves views. You're much better than this. I'm quite impressed Renu, he gets so much out of you and so much out of a sunset and that he's very good at enjoying the nature and the things to look at. Okay, this is the first time today the bikes have actually been rolling on the road. Three hours of uphill climbing, now it's time to go down. wasn't the only climb today, just came down 10 kilometers and then I have to climb again. <laughs> Hopefully after this top we can go down here. Yeah. Hope so. Uh, well that's what you like to see after we climb today. Yeah? Yeah. So then you're biking up there sweating and thinking is this really worth it? But then a lorry driver pulls over, gives me a big bag of fruit. <laughs> it's not the thing that we can't buy it ourselves, it's just a uh, kindness that just then cheers yeah. you up again and think, oh, maybe it is worth it. <laughs> yeah, actually, we have tried this four times and I'm still sweating. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's good we found a place to fill up our water bottles today. Yeah, the national fruit you're eating in Armenia, it's called apricot. Apricot? Yeah, apricot. Yeah, and this is called, it's very good and I just need two because it's so good. <laughs> wow, it's a serious downhill we got here now. Going into a wine district. Touring cyclist from Iran. A nice guy just stopped and talked to us. He's going north to Yerevan where we just come from. So uh, very friendly. He couldn't speak English though, but we managed to uh, understand what he meant. First winery we've seen so far. Wine tasting in there at <laughs> time that would be good. <laughs> and vineyards behind us. Amazing rocks and cliffs here. Okay, it's turned up at this stall here. We've got a nice room in the back here. And she's making some coffee for us. Okay, her name is on the wall as well. Whenever you turn up in this little place. <laughs> Where are we now? Arini. The town of Arini. So. That's a nice little place here. Yeah. Got a new kind of bread. A little bit like a crispy papadomac kind of thing. I would say karate kid. <laughs> Found this place on the Google Maps yesterday. Wasn't sure it was open or not, but it looks very, very nice actually in real life. Turkey, we're used to turning up in places that are closed. It's like a 
like another restaurant similar to the one we tried in uh, Turkey before Konya when you have these small rooms to each family. Hmm, let's see if we can camp here, that's interesting. Could be a good place if we could. The guy let us camp here in the back, I think they're doing some building work. That doesn't matter. Put the tent up there, I think. And then, uh, yeah, Restaurant coming. I've been going eat in a restaurant. It was really nice, and then just leave here. Yeah. Just what I was hoping for. Yeah, you've been talking about that all the yeah, time. Yeah, I wasn't sure whether it was open or not, but it looks extremely nice. Yeah. Let's have a look. I would have thought this place existed here in the mountains. Okay, now it's time to try Armenian food. They've uh, given us this little table here. How are you doing in the restaurant? Very good. And uh, I will, I'm very spent to see how it is in the night time. Maybe the disco lights over there and the lights are maybe, uh, yeah, maybe also will be very beautiful. And all very uh, good. And live music or just a normal evening. If you was, we didn't know, I mean, back to here, well, it's going to be open or closed. And then it's open and live music and everything. And today is Thomas's birthday. Happy birthday, Thomas. We will send you the bill for the first dinner. Well, it's another restaurant with no menu. You just uh, tell him what we want, chicken or pork, or we ask for a bit of everything. <laughs> uh, salad and bread. Oh, we'll see what, some cheese. Let's see what else turns up. <laughs> yeah. I know we can taste what they're famous for in this area, wine making. This one's actually locally made in the restaurant here. Tastes great, nice. So. They're quite easy to drink these Armenian wines, so that's what we've been hoping or looking forward to. <laughs> One of the things they're famous for, they say they invented winemaking, and Georgia claims the same thing, but uh, who knows who's right, but they're definitely good at it. <laughs> That's what Armenian food looks like. And, uh, yeah, I'll we'll see if it tastes good now. So, that was another good dinner. Quite like these restaurants where there's no menu. You just uh, say, bring whatever you, whatever you make, we'll eat it. <laughs> it usually works out quite nicely. They don't speak too much English in this uh, restaurant here, so we just tried to Google Translate, can we buy some milk? I'll just show you the text now. Mm. Cannot believe they can understand that. What on <laughs> earth does that mean? <laughs> Never seen any form of uh, writing script like that before. But, uh, yeah. We'll see, we'll ask them now and see if they understand it. Okay, well, that was a nice evening here. It's kind of restaurant stroke building side camping. We're camping uh, just behind here. Looks like they're building, do some building work. Making the restaurant bigger by the looks of it. Okay, we can put our tent here. Just hope it doesn't start raining, especially in a bit of a hole there, but uh, let's hope it stays dry. But, uh, that was a good day today. Our first real day here in the mountains of Armenia. Um, we uh, climbed the first mountain, one done, three to go. <laughs> to, tomorrow should be fairly flat for most of the day and then we have a climb towards the end of the day. So let's uh, see how that goes. We'll see a bit more of Armenia tomorrow. Okay, that was it for today. See you tomorrow. <laughs>